They flew to the Bahamas to get married and they have not been heard from since. The search continues for a Fort Worth couple. Another team there looking for any sign of their Cessna plane that went missing almost three weeks ago. Tonight, their family is speaking to News 8, still hopeful that the two will be found alive. News 8's Bradley Blackburn has their story. Bradley. Marie, the private search team focused on Harbor Island today. That's in the Bahamas, not far from where the plane was last seen. It has been 19 days now, but as you said, the family of this couple is still hopeful and very optimistic that they could be found alive. It's time for some good news to happen. And Sue McDaniel believes with all her heart, her brother's story will have a happy stories, ending. And there's been a lot of people survive a lot longer um, stranded, so that just gives me more hope that it's going to turn out good. She and her husband spoke to us by Skype from their home in Willis near Houston about the search for any sign of Forrest Sanko and his fiance Donna Grant. They were high school friends who found love decades later, an engineer and a nurse from Fort Worth who flew together in his Cessna 150 last month to get married in the Bahamas. Yeah, he wanted to take her to this beautifully romantic place and uh, they were going to get married once they got to that to that uh, island. On September 26th, in stormy weather, they left North Eleuthera Airport for a 160-mile journey to Rum Key, but they never made it. The family found out when he didn't show up for work. I did not. None of the family knew he was flying. The Coast Guard is no longer involved in the search. It's in the hands of Bahamian authorities. The family hopes a private search paid for with a GoFundMe page can push them to continue. From what we understand, they have to find something from the aerial search uh, with the men that were that are working for us uh, before they can get the Coast Guard to go out and check anything. We have to have a lead for them to go on. Praying for answers and hopefully a celebration for a husband and wife. As I believe the wedding was at the final uh, island that they were headed to. So I'm just hoping and praying that she's still going to say yes when they come back and uh, that we'll have a big, uh, big wedding and party and reception in Fort Worth Bradley Blackburn Channel 8 News